everyone! This is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a cute little bunny box to share with you. Easter's gonna be here before you know it, y'all. I think it's about two weeks away, maybe not even two weeks away, so you still have time to make something for Easter, but this is the little bunny box. Isn't it cute? Isn't the ears so cute? I was going crazy trying to figure out how I could do the ears, and then I figured out something to do. So I thought these were really cute. It just opens. It's I actually did this backwards. You can do it with however you want. You can put the ears on, you know, coming in the front. I kind of like it opening in the back after I did it that way because, you know, then it doesn't mess up anything in the front when you're opening it. So I may do it again that way, but you can do it however you want. And this box is... It's a two by two by two box. So it'll fit like some good jelly beans, some little um, Hershey's Kisses or Hershey's Eggs would be really cute. Um, anything like that would be really cute. So this is what I'm sharing today. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the little flowers with the Memento Black ink that we're using. And then we can go ahead and color those in. It's a really quick coloring. I'm only using two colors to color these. And by the way, I didn't even show you the stamp sets I'm using is the Easter Bunny, which on this I'm just using this. And I'm using the Happy Easter from Celebrating You. This is one of my favorite sets. It's got everything on it, y'all. There's so many different sentiments for every occasion. And then I am using the Stylish Shapes, which I'm using the square. And if you saw my video the other day, this little square wanted to be in my video, but it was not for that. It was for the little Easter egg treat box I posted on Thursday. So this is a one and three quarters by one and three quarter inch square. I already cut it out. It is stitched, but you can cut it out and just um, use that for your sentiment. And I'm going to just color this using our petal pink. And this is the dark petal pink. And I'm just going to color all the flowers the same color. And it's going to just make it really easy. And, oops, forgot this flower. Oh, I'm not going to use, I'm only using the center flower. So that's all that I'm going to color there. And then I'm going to just use the old olive. And this is the light old olive. And I'm using that just for the leaves. So it's going to be pretty quick and easy to do. So that is it. I do need to fussy cut this. And there you go for the fussy cut and cutting. Super, super quick and easy. By the way, y'all, I want to apologize for um, not responding to the comments on my last video because actually on my video that was posted Tuesday I lost my internet we just got new internet installed and the next we had it for one day and the next day it was gone so I just want to apologize for not posting that right away on my Facebook page and for not responding to your comments I always love I always read the comments and I usually love to respond to most of them so I just want to apologize for that. All right, so for the box on this one, you need a piece of eight and a half by six. I am using um, Petal Pink for this. I'm using, yes, my favorite, Country Gingham. I'm using the this pattern right here for this. You need five of these to mat the box. They are all one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. All these will be in the inspiration sheet on my blog at stampingwiththemorai.com. For those of you who are new, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a, a new video. Also, please share my video because it really, really helps my channel. All those things, giving it a thumbs up, all that help my channel to grow. So thank you all who have been doing that. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. And then this piece is 10 by 1 half, and this is what we're making the ears from. And we do have to score this piece. I didn't score the first couple ones I did, but I thought it'd make it easier to share with you the scoring on that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and score both of these pieces here. On the eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it at one half, two and a half, four and a half, and six and a half. Then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at two and four. This is super easy box. And then on our little ear piece, we are going to score this only on the 10 inch side and you're going to score it at one half, two and three quarters, five, seven and a quarter, and nine and a half. That is it. Okay, so for the ears, let's go ahead and just fold these up. You're going to fold this end up, and these are going to be folded like that. And this end is going to be folded up as well, just like that. And then you'll have your ears just like that. All right, so that we're going to set those aside for a minute, and we're going to do our box here. And we are going to cut down. This is the half inch side here, so I'm going to cut down on both of these. I'm going to make some inside flaps, so I am going to cut this maybe three quarters an inch, maybe a half to three quarters of an inch. You you can do however you like. You don't have to be super fussy with this part. But you know how I love putting the inside flaps. I know those of you who follow know that by now. I've been doing it for so long. <laughs> and then these are going to be cut into. And I did this box a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. But I want to show you what I did for this so it would make the box a little less bulky. I'm going to cut these down as well, probably in half, and then this side too. Just cut it about in half, and then I'm going to cut into these. So this is going to make it, the inside a lot less bulky on the inside. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and sharpen these score marks. All right, everything's all sharpened up. Let's put this together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put adhesive on these two little flaps right here. And we are going to pull this up and line this up right here. Both sides right there. And I like these to go back in the front. So we're going to do those going back. So we're going to put them on both ends here. And just pull those up, line them up. I like to lay it flat on the surface so that everything is all lined up real nice. And there's our little inside flaps for that. And then it's going to close like that. Let's go ahead, I didn't stamp the sentiment, so let me go ahead and stamp that on here. And when you're stamping this, I'm using Memento Black. Stamp it a little bit towards the top so that you can fit your flowers down at the bottom. And while we have that there, let's go ahead and just put our flowers on. And I'm just going to put them right down there at the bottom. All right, so that's ready to go. Let's go ahead and mat this all. So all of the sides are going to be matte. I'm going to just do the four, the sides here, and then I'll show you how we're going to do the top. Okay, so all of our four sides are done. Now on this top piece, what I'm going to do 
is I'm just using this as a guide but if you want to measure it out you can measure it out I'm just going to be using my little knife here exacto knife to cut a little slit in the top of this and I'm just guesstimating it's not important to be exactly centered so I am just going to be cutting a little bit of a slot there just to put the bunny ears will fit into that so there's just a tiny slit here I'm going to grab our little bunny ears and you are going to slide those through the center And what you want to do is I'm going to glue these little flaps down. So you want to glue them both down like that. And then you're going to glue this on your box. So I'm going to just add adhesive all the way around here. It's really easy to do. I didn't bring my cutting mat up here. I should have because I don't like going through my paper. I didn't, I didn't even go through the paper actually on this one. But I did when I first did it. <laughs> I don't like wasting my grid paper. Alright, so then you, you just want to adjust your little ears. Like you can fluff them out like that. And there are your little bunny ears. Can you see that? I know it's a little bit hard up against the white to see that. I'm going to be using my soft polyester ribbon, and this is in petal pink. And we are going to make a bow for this bunny. I don't know, I may want to make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's good. And I am going to actually use a glue dot for this part. I'm going to use a couple actually because it's a pretty good size bow. You're going to just set that on top like that. And then we're going to add our sentiment. I'm not popping this up or anything, I'm just adding it to the front of the box. Just like that. And it's as easy as that, y'all. Look at it, look at the little bunny ears on that. I hope you enjoy this. It's really fun to do and it's really easy, y'all. It's a real easy box to make. And so I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.